his ward. Leanne, he could have had two or three. Yeah, he could have, but that's just a, a little bit rusty, isn't it? Yeah. Coming back from injury, I think he's been put on a pedestal because his performances early on in the season were so good. He's so clinical, but I think any player, it's unrealistic to think that you'll come back and, and hit the ground running. But what's important for Celtic is they've got him back and they're now getting him back up to speed. And I would expect him to feature heavily, you know, come this weekend. And I'm sure the minutes yesterday will only put him in good stead. To me, it doesn't seem like a, he got his goal. Um, but I don't think he's a selfish player. I don't think it really matters to him the way he plays. I think he's more about the team and the team performance. And when the team are doing well, that's that's all that should matter, I think, as any player. Um, but it's a huge boost for them, certainly ahead of the old firm. Kyogo, 17 goals. Ryan, you'll be looking forward to it. Who's up front for you then this weekend? And Gikamakis on as well and hit the bar. But the second goal, Jota was there. What are you thinking about the Celtic lineup? It's a really, really good headache to have because <laughs> we've got two strikers that are back on form, which is absolutely brilliant. I think if out of the two of them, I would probably pick Yakimakis, and that's just due to the last games we've played against Rangers. Um, we really struggled without him at Hamden, that sort of focal point up front. He was he was an absolute nightmare at Ibrox and at Celtic Park as well. I thought he was quite unlucky not to score in both of those games. But um, I would probably go with Yakimakis, but Yogo's a great player to bring off the bench for half an hour to go. It's funny how quickly football changes like that though, isn't it? And opinions change because maybe, well, I think was it Boxing Day was the last time that Kyogo played um, or started anyway and to think how long Celtic have gone without him and how hard Jackie Marcus had to work to convince people that he was probably good enough to be that Celtic nine and to do the job that he did. But I would agree, I think Celtic did miss him in that cup match um, because I think they had got used to the way that he plays in the job that he does for the team. So they had now got to that point where they adapt and they're now going to need to adapt again to get back to the way Kyogo does because they're so different. Um, but uh, what a headache to have, 100%. You would rather have both of them fit and, scratch, you know, coming right down to the wire, Peter, what would you that's do? Exactly, was... That's exactly, you've got both players available, different types of players. Yeah. Kyogo, I would play Jack and Marcus for the power. Um, I think mm. Kyogo's got fantastic movement. Runs in behind very well. His movement's electric. Jack and Marcus, I agree with Ryan in the respect to that. I don't think like Rangers playing against his physicality. And it sounds strange because it's two big lads that play back there. You know, and they've not liked his physicality. And I don't think it would allow, if they play Bassett left centre half, allow him to get after Rogic. Mm. You know, I think he would need a heed of his hands full looking after uh, Jack and Marcus, you know, and never mind that. And that could create space for like, say, Rogic or whatever. And that's slightly different. And that's what Rangers done in the last game. And I thought they'd done it quite well. I don't think Jack and Marcus would allow that. But as I say, I'm a big, big fan of Kyogo. I think his movement was excellent. I thought his header yesterday was fantastic, you know. But I just think the, the big fella just gives you that wee bit more presence. What, as I said earlier, that's why I think Celtic, the difference this year is what they can bring on and what they can move about and manoeuvre around about the team. So bringing somebody like Kyogo on at any particular time mm. in the game. And plus the fact that Leanne's made the point about Christmas time since his last full games, you know what I mean? Hamstrings are a hell of a thing. You know, Kyo, uh, Jack and Mac has only been out for a couple of weeks. Kyogo has been out for a few months, really. And we have to be very, very careful with that. And I know it's near the end of the season. And people say, oh, well, it doesn't matter if he misses, if he plays this game and does well in this mm. game, that, that doesn't matter. You've just got to be very, very careful because that would be a blow if he'd mm. go off in the game as early mm. if a, a substitution like that got to be made. So I would start Jack and Marcus and then Keel going for sure. Tell Alexa to launch Go Radio or listen on the Go Radio app.